So we will see what is a graph. In this one, we are going to be seeing about uh, what is a graph terminology, directed graph, undirected graph, and what is the degree of directed and undirected graph, isolated vertex, and also pendant vertex, handshaking property, complete graph, bipartite graph, complete bipartite graph. All this we will see in the graph terminology. First, we will see what is a graph. So graph is nothing but a, it is a combination of what. It is a combination of vertices and edges. Vertices can be represented by using the circle R dot and edges can be represented by using the straight line R arc line. So if you consider any one example, you can consider which consisting of a set of vertices and edges. If you consider here, a, this A and B and C are the vertices and E1, E2, E3 are the edges. This is a simple graph. So, this can be represented as a G. G graph is nothing but graph can be represented by using the G. Which combination of vertices and edges? Vertices are nothing but A, B, C and edges are nothing but E1, E2, E3. So, here this graph can be represented by using the vertices and edges and you can take any example this is also you can call it as a graph there is no restriction that graph should be in a complete manner only so this open this called as a open graph you can consider any graph which should be consisting of a vertices and edges this is also called as a graph and this one also called as a graph which consisting of the combination of vertices and edges and this graph can be represented by using the two directed graph and also undirected graph graph is classified into two types directed graph and undirected graph now we will see what is a directed graph directed graph is nothing but the edges which are having the direction on the edges then you can say that that is a directed graph in the name itself you have said if the edges are having the direction on the edges then you can say that that is a directed graph for example in this example the edges are having the direction so this is nothing but a directed graph you can take any example next one undirected graph undirected graph is nothing but the edges doesn't have any direction on the edges if you observe here the edges are not having any direction on their edges so this is nothing but a undirected graph this is a one of the example of the undirected graph now we will see what is the degree of directed graph and what is the in degree of in undirected graph degree of a directed graph can be classified into two types in degree and out degree in degree in degree is nothing but a the number of edges incoming to the vertex is nothing but in degree. Out degree. Out degree is nothing but the number of edges outgoing to the vertex is nothing but out degree. If you consider any one example. Now, if you want to find the degree of each vertex, you need to check the in degree and out degree. This is nothing but a directed graph. In the directed graph, if you want to find the degree then you need to take the in degree and as well as out degree also so here uh, if you consider vertex if you consider vertex a for this vertex a what is the in degree the number of edges incoming to the vertex so how many edges are incoming to the vertex a only one edge that is nothing but only d to a incoming edge is there a to b edge is outgoing so here degree of a is nothing but a one Incoming edges can be represented for this one as a minus. So, degree of B, the number of edges incoming to the vertex is nothing but a 2. And for the C, if you observe here, there is a self loop. If you have a self loop in your graph, then you need to consider that self loop for in degree and as well as out degree also. So, degree of C, there is actually no incoming edge for the C, only there is a self loop is there. So, for this self loop, you need to consider as a 1. Degree of D. Degree of D is nothing but a how many edges are incoming to the D? Only 1. Next one, out degree. Out degree is nothing but a how edges are outgoing from the vertex is nothing but a out degree. Number of edges outgoing from the vertex is nothing but a out degree. So, from the vertex A, how many edges are outgoing? 
only one edge is outgoing so degree of a is nothing but a one outgoing edges will be represented by using the plus next one degree of b degree of b is nothing but a the number of edges outgoing to the vertex uh, there is no outgoing edge here so degree of b is nothing but a zero outgoing edge will be represented by using the plus next one for c uh, for c if you observe uh, how many edges outgoing one two and also you need to count for the self loop also so totally three and for the d and for the d outgoing edges are only one so degree of d is nothing but a one for the outgoing so this is nothing but a degree of a directed graph in degree out degree you need to calculate in degree is nothing but a number of edges incoming to the vertex out degree is nothing but the number of edges outgoing from the vertex if there is a self loop in any vertex then you need to count for in degree and as well as out degree also next one degree of a undirected graph degree of a undirected graph is nothing but a you consider any undirected graph for example this is nothing but a undirected graph why because there is no edges on the uh, there is no direction on the edges now degree of undirected graph what is degree here in the undirected graph means the number of edges incident to a vertex is nothing but a um, degree so the number of edges incident to a vertex incident to a vertex so here if you observe a on vertex a how many edges are incident to a only two so two for the b only one edge is incident there is no edge here so degree of b is nothing but a one if you consider for d the number of edges incident to d is nothing but a two if you consider for c the number of edges incident to c is one oh.